excited you're here because I am in Bloomington, Indiana on this beautiful day at the coolest place. It's called Wonder Lab and it's a museum of science, health, and technology. It is the best place to play, ask questions, and create. Do you want to come check it out with me? Let's do it. Come on. Would you guys show me around a little bit? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go. I want to play with this thing. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Kylie. It's nice to see you it's again. Good to see you too. And wow, very fashionable. <laughs> good taste. Um, this thing looks cool. I see a bowling ball that looks like the galaxy. Mm -hmm. But when I go like this, what's happening exactly? Yeah, you, well, it's a transfer of energy. Ooh. This ball is very hard, whereas these have some elasticity. And so when you drop them, the power goes through these balls and gets transferred all the way up. Whoa. So let's try a couple different ways. Wow. Let's try it this way. Oh, well that second way didn't work very well. That's so interesting. The thing you did different is you were spinning them. Uh-huh, and, and did you see how it vibrated? Oh, so the, the wire here? It transferred to this mm -hmm. instead of these. And it built friction between the wire and the balls. So it didn't go as far. So it slowed it down. Yeah, so if we wow. go really gently, it'll go higher. That is so <laughs> cool. Okay, I want to see how high I can get it. Okay, okay. If I go from Tip top. There is, okay. Oh, all right, I'm gonna try to hit it. Excuse me, excuse I'll me. I'll let you know if you make it to the top. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna wait for it to calm down. Uh-huh. Oh! Let's see if that can go high too. kinetic contraption that we have built specifically here for Wonder Lab. Do you see these metal balls? Yeah, they're special because if you watch, when they get released, they lower this elevator here. Oh, wow. And it's the metal balls that make it so the kinetic pieces of the sculpture start to move. So can you see all the kinetic pieces? Wow. I think I'm right that the word kinetic means it's moving, it's right? It's moving, exactly. Okay. Cool. over to here and it's got a pulley and then the bath is <gasps> moving up top because it moves that chain which moves the metal pipe on the inside. Cool. Parachute drop. How does how does this work? Well, first you have to put the parachute inside of here. Oh, okay. So if you grab a parachute, I'll open this. Okay. I'm gonna pick the yellow Just person. Push that right down. Boop. Oh, cool. Like this? Yep. Okay. Good to go. Boop. And now, hold on. I feel like this person needs a pep talk. You can do this. You are brave. You've been preparing your whole plastic person life for this moment. And it's now. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so grab that. Okay. And. Just keep pulling. Just keep pulling. Just keep pulling. But look up. Oh, oh, oh! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! Ah! Here it goes! <laughs> you did it. High five. There you go. <laughs>
You are so good at playing. Thanks. Okay. Whoop. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, look out. Whoa. <laughs> cool. What is this? Wow. It's kind of like a water tornado. Cool. It creates a vortex and brings all the water down. Cool. You put your whole arm in. Yeah. shapes it makes. Yeah. And you can see the yeah. rainbow sheen on it. Ooh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Wonderland wow. is we want you to get your hands in there. Mm -hmm. And we're not really worried about messes. I love that. So even though there's carpet, you can just go for it. Different 
sizes bubbles. Oh yeah, and these so ones when have you bigger bubbles. Touch they... them, they actually feel different. Okay, let me try to describe it. Let's see. These feel kind of soft, smooth, squishy kind of. Uh huh. These feel ooh, a little bumpier and like almost a little lighter. Sticky. Lighter. Yeah. And that's because of the density. It's the how densely packed the bubbles are. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see. This looks a little looser. Mm -hmm. There's more air. And this looks a little thicker. More bubble. Notice how we have different shapes. Yeah. Bubble wands, but when you put them over the air chute here, they all blow a circle bubble. Why is that? Because a bubble will naturally try and form a sphere. Oh. Always. So even if we don't use a circle wand, yes, it's going to make a sphere. Mm -hmm. So a circle makes it, but do you want to try the triangle? Yeah, I really do. Okay, this has three straight sides. Let's see what happens. Get out of here, sphere. Whoa. Oh, it was like, no. I'm a bubble. I will be a sphere. childhood area. We okay. have lots of areas for them to explore and play. We have the Wigglewoods Climber. Whoa. Climber for little ones. <laughs> Are you going in? No, no, no. Oh, not very far. Maybe, Maybe you're not right here. Yeah, we have a place for them to explore. A cave down in here. A cave? No. <laughs> Come check in here. Okay. We always have different lab experiments going on in here. Ooh, I love right a good now, experiment. It's very mathematical, and you can make tanagrams with foam shapes. Oh, cool. So you use these shapes to make that picture? That's right. Cool. Let's see. Are there any square? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. mouse can make his way to his home through this big candle, I guess. <laughs> oh, cool. It's crafty, but it's also engineering. Oh, oh cool. Yes. What's Here, the goal? You can build using all these different supplies and put it in the wind tunnel and design something that maybe floats or shoots right out the top or maybe it just slowly goes up. But you have to try and try till you get it to do what you want. Okay. And that's the engineering design process where we design it, think about what we want it to do. Okay. Build it, thinking it might do that. All right. And then we have to test it to see if it does. Okay. And well. if it doesn't, then we come back and we redesign it. We do it over and over until we get what we want. All right, well, should we try it? I think we should. Okay. Design. What Let's do you want it to do? See. Shoot out the top or float in the middle? I think I want it to... What do you think? Float. Float, okay. So, what do you think is gonna help it to float? Hmm, what can float? I'm thinking kind of like birds have big wings and it lets them just mm, on the air. So maybe we need something big like that to catch some the papery. Okay, I love that, yeah. Let's see. What do you wanna do with the paper? Do you wanna make it 
flat? Do you want to fold it into an airplane? Do you want to attach it to a basket and make the basket float? Yeah, I want to make the basket float. Okay. okay. So now you have to figure out how you want to attach it to the basket. You could tie it. You could use these. You could figure out some way to use these. Okay. Lots of options. Let's use pipe cleaners, okay. and maybe we'll make almost like a parachute for the basket. Do you think that's a good idea? Good okay. idea. And kind of like a hot air balloon, but like a wind tunnel tissue balloon. Okay. Very good. We'll bring this over here for this. Very efficient with materials. Thanks. <laughs> it looks floaty. Yeah, see what happens. All right. So you can push the button and put it in, or put it in and push the button. Oh, Up to you. Okay, I'm going to put it in and push the button. So excellent. In and three, two, one. Let's try it. It's kind of, it's pretty heavy. It's nice that you have the basket. Yeah, there we go. That really worked out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clump right in there. All right, little pom-pom, going for a ride. Gotta get it all floofed. Three, two, one. Well, it's still catching good air, but maybe that one's a little too heavy. Yeah. Something else? I wonder if we put a couple of monkeys in the basket. <laughs> I did not know they were an option, and I say yes. All right, let's try two. Okay. That was good timing. Okay. All right, monkeys. Got your seatbelts on? Let's Just kidding, go. I didn't build seatbelts. Okay, three, two, one. We tested and redesigned, rebuilt, mm -hmm. and victory. We got it. Cool. Speaking of things going up, um, I was wondering if it would be time to maybe climb up to the second floor. I think that's a great idea. And essentially the stairs, um, friend, do you want to go with me a super fun way instead? Are you ready to conquer this climber? Let's do it. You ready? Do you think we can do it? Yeah, I know we can. Do you think we can? I know we can. Okay. There's these things. So if you need to, you can use that to grab them. Oh, cool. And this is really secure. All right. So you can also use those to help you climb. Okay, but only on the inside. I'm gonna be honest, mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous. But I I'll got my you. friends, you're gonna help me and I can be brave and nervous at the same time. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Ugh. Okay. Wow, you really have to use all kinds of different muscles in your body to do this. Oh gosh. <laughs> We're doing it. I feel like a caterpillar climbing to find the perfect leaf to make my cocoon on. I'm up really high. How you doing back there? I'm good, I got a little turned around. Okay, well, you look like you're on the right track now. Whoa. It's hard to decide which part of your body to put first. Uh-huh. Woo! Hi! I did it! I'm at the top! I'm so proud of myself right now. Workout, but definitely worth it. And oh my goodness, there are so many incredible things up here. I'm gonna get out of here and we can check them out. Come on. Here. Come see Norbert. Norbert?
skirt. <gasps> Whoa! Barbara is a blue tongue skink. A blue tongue skink? Does that mean his tongue is actually blue? Yes. All right, let's see if we can try to see it. seen one of you outside of a video game. <laughs> The augmented reality sandbox. That sounds very sciencey. It does. So it's got this projector that projects down these different landscapes. Whoa. And you can interact with them. Is this kinetic sand? It's kinetic sand. I love kinetic sand because it moves so cool. So you spread this out and make different things with it? Yes. So right now we are in a forest, kind of like one that would be in the Hoosier National Forest or okay. down in Tennessee. Okay. And so if you build it higher, it'll make a mountain. And if you build it high enough, it'll have a snow peak on the mountain. Oh, wow, it projects then, a mountain onto it. Then all the green is the greenery of the trees. And we have these discs, so you can hold it over, Kylie, to see what happens. <gasps> oh! It makes weather. That is so cool. If you do it over here where it's got a dimple down and you make it rain into there, it'll turn it into a lake. <gasps> Just like real water would maybe make a lake in a low spot like that. Exactly. What about in like Hawaii? Hawaii is a US tropical island. And you know what we can find there? What? Volcanoes. Are you telling me that we're gonna be able to make a volcano in this sandbox right now? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Here we go, it's erupted! This is so cool. And then if you let it be, the eruption will get bigger and bigger. And if you make it rain over it, it'll fizzle it out. Oh, cool, okay. Wow, look at the lava dripping down the side. Okay, here comes the rain. Wow. All right, see if there's any more lava. Oh, there is still oh. some more. The lava wins. <laughs> Bed of nails. Um, this doesn't look like something that's for children or me. What is this? Well, haven't you always wanted to know how they did that? Yeah, it's like a magic trick. People lay on a bed of nails and don't even get hurt. But here, the magic is science. Oh. So, lay down for me and I'll let you be in control, I promise. All right, you can do it. You haven't led me astray yet. Oh, that's so nice. Trusting me. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Not Very the good. comfiest bed I've ever laid in. All right, so you have this button. Okay. And you press the button and hold it down, and that's what brings up the nails. So if you get worried or scared, you just let go. Okay. And the nails go back down. Okay. This isn't going to hurt me. Nope. Even though they're pointy. I promise. And after I do it, you'll tell me why. Uh huh. Okay. You ready? Okay. Three. Two, one. Okay, I right? them. they're up. I did it? You did it. <laughs> What's it feel like? Now you just let go of the button. Just like that. What? Why didn't it hurt? Well, first 
you have to try one other thing. Okay. I want you to just sit on it with your legs hanging over. Okay. And now this one you'll feel a tiny bit, but it still won't hurt, I promise. Okay. Three, two, one. Doesn't hurt, right? It doesn't hurt. But you feel it a little bit I feel more. It more. Yeah. And that's because when you lay your whole body weight, when you're laying down across the whole bed, it displaces, displaces your weight. So it gets distributed more evenly so you don't have as much weight pushing down. So the nail doesn't poke you that's because right. there's not as much weight on it. Exactly. So when you have just your bum and the nails, you feel it more because more of your weight is concentrated in a single area. That is cool and still a little scary, but mostly cool. Here they come. friend Ari and um, Ari is gonna show me a new friend that I'm a little nervous to meet if I'm being honest it's a cockroach um, okay and Ari said that with the proper training check I can hold this cockroach okay just like this yeah oh my okay okay all right it's not so bad hi buddy hi did you know you're on TV Whoa, he's really using his antenna. Yeah, they feel around and that's how they figure out where they want to go. So, kind of like eyes for him. Yeah, they don't have the best eyesight. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Look at those little spikes on his legs. Ari, if you were going to name this specific cockroach, what would you name? You need a closer look? Uh, well, he is a male because we can see these two horns on his head. Oh, okay. So, let's call him Steve. Steve! All right. Steve, it was excellent to meet you, and I think now you can get off of my hand and go back to your home. <laughs> do you think you would have liked to do that, too? You would have been really brave. I just know it. Well, I'm not oh. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> That's cool. It makes the metal into a magnet. The Wonder Lab in Bloomington, Indiana is wonderful. I had so much fun learning and playing here. It was awesome. I hope you liked it too. If you want to watch more videos like this with me, just search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. And I'll see you soon. Ah!